Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm back here with the Speedster now and I'm working on the drivetrain uh, part of it. The engine, as you can see, is not in here. It's still at the machine shop, getting a little bit of work done to it. Hopefully I'll be getting that back before too long though. But I was looking at this and the only mounts that actually hold the, the engine transmission assembly in here are mounts at the front of the engine and the rear of the transmission. And because this is a straight six with a fairly long transmission on it as well, those mounts are over four feet apart. And so there's a lot of weight in between there, uh, kind of bending that whole, or trying to bend that whole assembly down and putting a lot of stress on my adaptive plate areas and the bell housing and that sort of thing. So what I wanted to do was make some sort of intermediate support here in the middle of that assembly to take a lot of those stresses off of it and just put it back into the frame. So, I'm gonna bring, so let me bring you over here and show you uh, what I came up with for that. All right, so I'm back in here now. You can see the transmission in there. It's at attached to its mounts in the rear. It's got the bell housing bolted to it. And if you can imagine the engine also being here, you have the front mounts up there and then the rear mounts way back there. And there's a lot of weight sitting in between there trying to basically just bend that whole assembly in half. So what I did to kind of alleviate a lot of those stresses is I made this custom plate here that bolts to the bottom edge of the bell housing, which is attached to a couple custom clevises that I made with a short tie rod, and then it attaches up here, there with that big flange nut, a rubber bushing to take out the vibration, and then just a mount that comes up from the frame. And all you have to do then is you tighten that flange nut on both sides, and then that brings up the center of the bell housing there. And that'll take out all the bending force there, trying to bend that assembly in half there. I think it's a pretty cool, simple design, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So over the rest of the video, I'll show you the process of making all those parts, and I hope you enjoy.
All right, so there it is, all assembled now. There's still a couple pieces that aren't in here. Like I'll need to have jam nuts on the back of those clevises on both sides just to get that nice and tight. I'll also have jam nuts on the top of those, those flange nuts right there too, just to make sure none of that's gonna come loose. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, well, I, I might also make some nice, some custom pins there to go through those clevises as opposed to just bolts that are sitting in there right now. But other than just minor, minor stuff like that, uh, you can really see how it all works. And I think it's a pretty cool design. Uh, it doesn't take up much room. I didn't have a lot of room to work with here, especially over here with the, the pedals and the steering box right there. But I was able to, to get that rod right inside the steering box. And I think it turned out pretty well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.